Hi everyone, it's Tammy and welcome to the bonus card of Balloon Celebration. This is my fourth card in the series of, um, of three that I usually do, but in this case it's a series of four. Using the same stamp set, this is Balloon Celebration. If you haven't caught the other videos, they post it on Monday, Wednesday, and Friday at noon. And this is a collaboration week I'm doing with my friend Tanya, who can be found on at home with Tanya and her link is posted below along with my Stampin' Up! shop which is open 24 7 and if you guys would like to purchase anything you can just follow the link and shop to your heart's desire online. It is a really great products and in includes this balloon celebration and the paper that I'm going to use today and I think that you guys will like it. So let's go ahead and get started. The first thing that I'm going to do is use um, this very vanilla cardstock. I don't use this as much as I should. I really like it, but I go for the Whisper White a lot more frequently. But this is just a piece of eight, of eight and a half by 11 piece of cardstock that I cut in half at four and a quarter and then scored at five and a half. Sorry, my finger is looking like a Smurf even darker than a Smurf, and it's a dark blue Smurf. I um, used a technique on Friday's card that you guys will still see because it's the same day for me. I am just making my cards in a row and then I post them on different days. So there's a secret, but we gotta keep up. So that's how we do it sometimes. We tape when we can, we film when we can. So I am also going to be using Delightful Dijon and then another piece of Whisper White. So I'm going to go ahead and take my Delightful Dijon, which is cut at a quarter of an inch smaller on the sides than the Very Vanilla. Instead, or I'm just gonna tell you what this is. This is four by five and a quarter. And this fits very nicely on top of the card base and leaves a nice layer around it. And this is going to be our card front. Ooh, and I'm getting some blue on there. Darn it. This is going to be our card front and this is cut at a half an inch smaller. So this is at three and three quarters by, oh I better just figure it out because I don't remember. Sorry, three and a half by four and three quarters. So this fits nicely on there but leaves a little bit longer of a border. I don't know what got blue on there. I'm not sure if my finger is still wet. I've washed them and maybe that's why it is wet, but I don't know. Oh well, I'm just gonna go with it. So, first thing I'm gonna do is take my cloud stamps, which I'm calling this a cloud, and I'm calling this a cloud, and my soft sky. And I'll get my card base out of the way. And I'm just going to take my block and my cloud image and just kind of put this around here. Something like that. And then I'll take my larger cl cloud I don't know I'm not liking that very much actually regroup I'm putting this large cloud away it's too big for my project I'm taking my small cloud turning my paper over that's the beauty of having two sides. Stamping off, stamping on. Yeah, that's more what I'm looking for. Just a really subtle clouds. I think that's good, actually. And then I need the dandelions, which 
I'm making into a dandelion anyway. I'm gonna take this middle and I'm going to stamp that in Delightful Dijon. Right in the middle of my page. About right, eh, about right here. Then I'm going to take this stem, which could also be a balloon string or whatever you want it to be. But for me today, this is a stem. And it's going to be in Cucumber Crush. going to stamp off and then stamp on so it's just a very light stem I guess I need my soft sky anymore. And I'm going to use the smoky slate to actually build the dandelion. And I'm going to need both sizes of dandelion, but I will start with the big one. And I'm just going to kind of put him cute already and then I'll stick the little one in between and I got this idea off of someone on Pinterest and when I tried to follow it back I couldn't ever find the originator of the idea so this is not a Tammy original this is one that I saw the design from someone else Oh, it's cute already. And I'm taking my small dandelion. And I'm just going to put this in between each one of the large dandelion. Isn't that adorable? Oh my word. Holy cow. And I think I'm going to make some grass on the bottom. And I will use my cucumber crush again. And I'm going to use the, I don't know, the balloon end.
cute. Oh my goodness. I really like this stamp set now. Sometimes it takes using it a little bit to decide when I got it. I think, I don't even remember when I got it. I, I don't think I even picked it out. I think it was, I was in a club and um, this was the stamp that we used that month. So I purchased it through the club without really knowing what I was going to be using. And I don't know that I would have picked it out for myself because, it, you know, sometimes you look at them and you're like, well, I don't really know. I already have birthday sets, but this one is really cute. I really like the standalion and I'm thinking like to put make a wish on it or something. I think that would be sweet. Isn't that cute? So this is our bonus card and then inside you can put whatever you want. But like I said, I think I'm going to put make a wish and either use it as a birthday card or just as a, you know, everyday make a wish kind of a card. And you could probably put some of these closer together if you wanted to, um, but I think it looks great. I'm excited. Thank you so very much for watching. I hope that you enjoyed it. Check out Tanya down below and have a great day. Happy crafting.